All right, everyone. Um, so I have my AES 10B here. Um, I've field stripped it and uh, put this polymer thumb hole stock on it. Um, I wanted to get a polymer set. Now, there is an issue with this, uh, which is not a big deal because it's one, it was inexpensive, um, and it, but uh, you can see how it, you know, it looks. Very interesting. Um, but there's kind of an issue with this big gap here where the handguard meets up with the trigger guard retainer. And because this was a takeoff, the holes, the screw holes for the um, thumb hole stock were already pre-drilled and they're not in the same positions for this gun, being that this was a Polish uh, imported buttstock. So, um, I'm set this here. So that's no big deal. Um, I still have the you know polymer set of furniture, the front hand guards uh, coming. Um, not a problem. I just won't be able to use this buttstock. Um, for anybody who got an AK with like the sentry arms crappy wood. Um, it's very easy to take the butt stocks off. What you need are two things. Well, three things. You need a drill to, or a screwdriver to get the screws off. But then you need uh, a rubber mallet and a thick wool beanie, like a you know beanie cap. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to cover this double folded with the uh, beanie cap, and you're going to take off your pistol grip. So your pistol grip off your uh, your AK. That'll give you some allowances to hit on both sides of your uh, covered buttstock and allow you to edge this out. Some people I've seen on YouTube literally just take hammers and smack the shit out of their uh, wood. So if you want to save this like I do for uh, the collectability's sake, because this is, you know, this is not a cheap firearm, uh, but this is a cheap piece of wood. Um, now I, I still have this if I want to put this back on for whatever reason. And I'm going to be cannibalizing this sling swivel uh, because, you know, predicting that there would be an issue with this thumbhole stock of some kind, you know, just in case I couldn't actually use this. Oh, um, what I did was I picked up a set of uh, laminate RPK furniture. This is just the butt stock. Um, I have the hand guards, the uh, pistol grip, the gas tube cover, and this butt stock. Uh, this is in very good condition. So there's just a little bit of wear, but uh, I'll be doing a review of this. But what it doesn't come with is the uh, sling, sling loop. So. I'll be cannibalizing probably this butt plate and the sling loop from this new piece and putting it on the laminate furniture once I refinish this. So I'll be doing all the uh, laminate furniture in a blood red. I'm going to be doing some test fitment before I start that to make sure that this will, uh, you know, the screw holes are in the right spot. If they're not, unlike the polymer, I can just take uh, sawdust and mix it with a whole bunch of wood glue, pack those holes in, and it'll act sort of like the uh, laminate uh, glue, and then I can re-drill any holes for the uh, screws for the buttstock. So that's no big deal. Uh, that's kind of how you do it. You just make a mix of uh, sawdust and wood glue, and it and uh, pack it in there, and, and it works the same way as your uh, laminate. But this is kind of has this waxy, coating on the outside of it that I'm not a big fan of. It's really sticky for some reason. So, and it's not from Cosmoline. It, there's no Cosmoline on it. it just, uh, I'm going to be refinishing this kind of blood red. So that should be cool. Uh, yeah, I'll uh, keep you guys updated on it. And I'll talk to you later.